is there any relation between the dark matter and stars for us with does dark matter and dark energy exert gravitational force and next comes what makes dark matter hey guys the set suggests that 70% of universe is composed of dark energy where 25% is mysterious which we can't see it and we don't understand it guys do you think dark matter exerts gravitational force the answer could be a yes some theories and critics say that dark matter doesn't even exist so to clear all this down let's wait for part 2 In part 2 guys we have seen one side of the coin now let's witness the other side in which you are going to find the differences of dark matter and dark energy and dark matter really exist also what happens if dark matter is destroyed and what is black hole how it is created from dark matter guys let's proceed with first question how dark matter and dark energy differs from each other dark matter slows down the expansion of universe while dark energy speeds it up Dark matter works like an attractive force. It is a kind of cosmic cement that holds our universe together because it interacts with gravity whereas dark energy is a repulsive force, also a sort of anti-gravity which drives universe ever accelerating expansion. Dark matter pulls matter inward and dark energy pushes the matter outward. Moving on to second question for decades astronomers physicists and cosmologists have theorized that universe is filled with an exotic material called dark matter and it makes up 3 quarters of all matter in universe but it never be seen or fully experienced now an international team of scientists say that it has found new evidence that perhaps dark matter doesn't really exist after all In an astrophysical journal, scientists report tiny discrepancies in the orbital speeds of distant stars that reveals almost non-existent gravitational effects. This theory could put an end to prevailing ideas of dark matter. This new research reports signs of faint gravitational tide known as an external field effect can be observed statistically in orbital speeds of stars in more than 150 galaxies. The study inclines at the lack and insufficient understanding of gravity behind galaxies. Keeping this theory aside, what happens when dark matter is destroyed? Guys, when dark matter is destroyed, it leaves behind a burst of exotic particles according to a theory. Now, scientists have found a possible signature of these remains. They concluded that when two dark matter particles collide each other, then they sometimes destroy each other and release a burst of energy that includes positrons. Without dark matter, these galaxies would exhibit major differences from the galaxies we see today. Galaxies would lose a large fraction of gas that forms new stars immediate after the first major star forming event they experienced. If this happens so wouldn't our universe be different of course it will without dark matter spiral galaxies would rotate like our solar system does and inner objects will rotate more quickly than the outer objects do so guys what happens when a star dies here the most interesting and curious formation takes place it is nothing but called as black hole yes guys it can be formed by the death of a massive star Space is pretty dark place but nothing is darker than a black hole isn't it a black hole is an area of having immense gravity that nothing not even light can escape from it that means imagine a circle with singularity in middle also gravity on the inside of the circle is so strong that nothing can escape that it draws in everything even the light that's why it's black Black holes can form in many ways and large of it can have 10 to million times of mass that of our suns some black holes trap more and more materials as their mass increases guys do you think is dark energy affected by black hole it means it can't escape from black hole the answer will be dark energy can escape a black hole no matter what size the black hole is and no matter how close the dark energy is to the center of black hole This is because dark energy is not affected by gravity at all. It causes the universe to expand faster and faster. This means it actually has an effect which is opposite to gravity. And also guys, what does black holes do with dark matter? Really black holes are created from dark matter? Let's go. 
Supermassive black holes have been observed as early as 800 million years after the Big Bang. Now, a new theoretical study has proposed a novel mechanism for the creation of supermassive black holes from dark matter. The international team have found it that Rather than the conventional formation scenarios involving normal matter, supermassive black holes could instead form directly from dark matter in high density regions in the center of galaxies. The result has key implications for cosmology in the early universe. Throughout this, as we have come to understand what makes up our universe and how it came to be the way it is, we are left only with one inescapable conclusion. The dark matter is absolutely necessary for the origination of life.